It is very important to know where you come from. That determines where you are going. And I'm a firm believer of that. That's what my mom used to say. And we are very proud of where we come from. We are proud of the Tessaza legacy of our ancestors. It is who we are. It is our place of origin. And um, that is what my business is all about. That is what the Tessaza legacy is about. I'm Berin Souls. I'm the owner of Tesla Style Wines uh, here in the Yemel and Arda. And I produce a Pinot Noir and Chardonnay that is sold internationally and nationally. I was born and bred in Tesla Style, which is a small farming village in the Overberg. And the name comes from Johannes Tesla, who was a captain in the Dutch army in the 1700s. And when he died in 1810, he left his property to his then freed slaves. So. I'm a descendant of those slaves. My parents still live there. I came here about 24 years ago as the nanny to Anthony Hamilton Russell's children on Hamilton Russell Vineyards, which is an established wine farm since 1975. And I soon became part of the team. So a month into nannying, Anthony steered me into the wine business side of things. And in 2014, he offered me the opportunity to wholly own my own business as a wine producer. So Anthony Hamilton Russell gave me the startup course to start my own business. And that's what I did um, in 2014. And the first wine was produced in 2015, which was a Tesla style Pinot Noir production. I outsourced my grapes on a grapes contract. Um, and my business model is really 80% export, 20% uh, local sales. The name Tesla Stahl comes from my hometown and my marketing is based around Tesla Stahl. You know, I took the name of my hometown, I trademarked it and I named my business after where I'm from, as well as uh, the label design and everything around it. So it's just natural for me to start a new wine appellation in Tesla Stahl. And it's also a place where at the end of 2019, I cleared out my business bank account and bought a 16.68 hectare property cash in Tesla's Dahl to plant grapes, erect a cellar, live the dream of farming. I've got two sons, um, aged 20 and 13, so they are the successor plans for my business, and I'm trying to establish a first family farming generation for them back in my hometown. The second proudest moment um, in my life was when I purchased the Tesla's Dahl property. The first proudest was when we took the grapes off and we had the packed bottle and I was showing it at wine shows like under the table from the Hamilton Russell vineyard stands. It's an unexplainable sense of, uh, sense of pride and to share that with my two sons was like the ultimate um, feeling because I'm, you know, whatever I'm doing, I'm establishing this first family farming for us, which is the first also in Tesla's Tower and uh, it's a very nice feeling of history in the making. At Hamilton Russell Vineyards, we've always been inspired to empower, you know, the next person. And we donate to the Tesla Dahl United Rugby Club, of which they basically keep the young men off the streets and into sports, which is also a very good thing in our area, especially also where a community is basically 80% growing up without fathers. I have a lot of um, demand for people wanting to visit Tesla Zal and to visit my, you know, my home and my farm. And that's what I do. I take them on the whole, from my farm, right through the community of Tesla Zal. We end up at my house in, in Tesla Zal, my parents' house, um, and we do the tastings there. And uh, gosh, I would say it's almost a 60-40 split between international and local visitors. By entering this female entrepreneurial competition, should I win, the monies would definitely be used, plowed back into the property and eventually have, you know, my 10 hectares of vineyards established as I planned it out. Winning this competition as a female entrepreneur um, would elevate my business status as well as myself and it will also inspire other females, other women in farming, in commercial farming, in production, in processing, to aspire to more greatness and to put your heart and soul into what you believe in, what you know, 
to be sure that this business will continue for the next generation and generations to come, leaving behind the Tesla's legacy.